difficult to to explain the game by pieces. Um, we start, I think, in the in the right way in, in terms of uh, concentration and doing the basic things uh, very well. And little by little, feeling more and more comfortable. It's true that today probably we have more more time and space than than in the in the previous games or in the recent ones at least, due to the, the opponent approach. They try also to, 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 to play football, probably due to their the own situation where they, they, they were not uh, under pressure, let's say, which is, is complicated to face the, the games against teams that they don't really need to, to win for any reason, only because we, they are good competitors and Amazulu is a, is a fantastic team. Probably not, not the best, best season, but I, I wish them all the best for the next season as well. And we got the lead early in the game and from, from that moment everything probably for the spectators and for you guys looks uh, very easy, but still for us it takes a lot of efforts and we have to run a lot and control very well the second actions uh, in, in transitions and we, we gave a couple of uh, set pieces in the first half that we shouldn't but overall I think we played a uh, good football in the first half. Uh, we dominate the game uh, quite all right without going to details and the second half the objective in the, in the half time for us was to not concede a single goal to keep the clean sheet until the end and uh, I'm happy about that. We have the opportunity to to play uh, some some players coming from injuries also in the in the last part of the game. I don't know. I'm so tired <laughs> to be honest to analyze the game, but I think overall was a good performance from from Pirates and allowed us give us the opportunity to to be in Champions League the next season, which is I think uh, something that, that a club like Orlando Pirates. Uh, must achieve every single year, so I'm so happy to to be part of this group, to be part of the, this group, uh, and uh, looking looking to the future, and the future is still the next week. Thanks, coach. Colleague. Thank you. Uh, please use our voice. Uh, we'll start with you, Mr. Matova, and then we we'll go to you. Good evening, coach. Uh, congratulations. Thank you. From Newsroom Africa. Um, coach, there's the MTN Eight title, which is this, you know, silverware. There's an FA Cup that you know that's still coming up, another potential. But this, even though it's not an official title, it's a second place finish that puts Pirates back to continental football. Is this the highest ranking of all that of of the successes that have? possibly come for the team uh, this season, how high does it really rank for the team, even though it's not really physical title that you are getting? No, obviously, I don't, I don't, and we don't uh, measure our um, uh, level of success because of the titles. There's, as a coaches, we think about, we think about uh, today, but we have one eye also in the near future, and uh, I think we have reasons to to be optimistic, to be positive about what's coming for us. But uh, how can I say? We we will start again in in, in two months uh, with zero points, uh, and we want to be what what we achieve this season right now. It's I think it's very important. Let me put it in this way. Uh, we have one more game to play with one more title that, that it's, it's in our hands to, to get. But still it's not enough. We, we want to go forward, we want to really uh, challenge every team the next season, starting with zero points again, like I said. And, uh, and for that we need to be, we need to be, uh, we need to be curious, we need to be self-critic, we need to be uh, go really deep to understand what happened this season in our up and downs um, and look for rooms to improve because there are rooms to improve, absolutely there are, but 
I'm happy with the progression of the team, if, if that's your question. I'm happy with the prog progression of every individual in the squad, the ones that are regularly playing, the ones who are not, because I can only play 11. Uh, but everybody is working uh, in, a, in a fantastic way. And obviously, I take the titles as well. We are competitive people. We want to touch, you know, the silver every now and then. And, and being a, in a club like Pirates gives me the opportunity to be in those crucial games. It's not because of me. It's because of everybody around. It's because of the structure. It's because of, because of the level of the players. Because we are trying to do a, a good job as a collective. And, and that's, that's the beauty of our profession, that we can it sounds a bit naive, but this is the truth that, that we can achieve and we can fight for something together. Thanks, Coach. Uh, we'll move to you, Robin. Can I just take two more rounds of questions? Orlando Pirates have to travel tonight, so let's be quick in our questions. The three of you will follow up that one, Robin, and then we we'll wrap it up. Um, yeah, the intensity, I mean, to put a muzzle under pressure like that, to score three goals in the first half, what does it say? about that uh, and also Monopoly Sale, I mean being involved in also those three goals, you know, in nominated for the football of the season. Do you think you let to go all the way and win it? I mean now it's eleven goal finish I mean probably I think we'll finish second mm. I mean in a golden shoe. Uh, what what's the question yeah, exactly? The intensity, how proud was the intensity that you keep from, from the start until until the end? Well we, we the, 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 the task today was important enough for us to, to apply ourselves in, in our best level and that's what happened and probably that's the, the, the difference in the, in the score is coming from there that we're playing for a very important thing and uh, we, we didn't want to take chances. We have two opportunities before in Orlando with, uh, in front of a Royal AM and, and Sekukune one week ago and we couldn't get the result. Today was our last chance. We have 90 minutes to do it, to make sure that whatever whatever our opponent in, in the other game, Super Sport, which I have to also congratulate because they did a, they did a fantastic fantastic season. Uh, so yeah, that's that's why Salem was extra motivated, obviously, because uh, his his season is uh, is just just uh, excellent. What can I say about the boy? And today he had one more opportunity to show his talent, and he doesn't he doesn't wants to to lose that opportunity. So that's why he he contributed one more time, uh, for helping us to get the three points today, and with a outstanding performance in my eyes. Thanks, coach. Can you give us your two questions, and then coach will answer the two questions, sure. and yeah. then we we'll move to the final. I have one question. Coach, um, congratulations on the win. Thank um, you. Just uh, your comments on uh, Logokile Atom um, getting his first professional goal for Paris today. How impressed are you with his development um, coming into the team as a youngster and also his performance today? Coach, just another question and then Coach, you can ask. Um, good evening, Coach. Um, my question is how important is it to have uh, the captain um, back fit? Um, ahead of the, the important game, and also a player like Lodge also back, back, back in the squad. We're just talking about individuals. Every question is about a single player, Salen, Lodge, Maela. <laughs> we just finished the season, we had an excellent uh, 2023, I think, how many games we are, we, we don't, you don't know, no? How many games we are unbeaten? No? Me neither. Eh? I don't care so much, but I know it's quite a lot. So let's focus in the in the collective. I'm happy to have everybody ready to play. Obviously, we're going to a final. It's going to be a difficult task for me to to decide who's going to start, who's going to be part of the 20, as usually as every week, because I have a fantastic squad full of uh, talent, like I said, thousand times already this season. And that answers your question as well. If Ratomu is part of the Star 11 in this team with 17 years old, it's, it's talking straight about how good the player is and could be in the future. He's a young player. We have to go little by little with him, uh, choosing the right moments for him to play for us. And uh, 
like I said, if, if you see a player in our study 11, it means that he's doing very well during the week, he's training well, he's preparing himself, and he, he fit in our game plan. So that's, that's the reasons that will brought you to the, to the study 11 in, in Pirates. Thanks, coach. Final question, Kulia. Okay. Thank you, Coach Rivero. Thank you. Uh, you can speak to Sandy okay. for... Thank you, so, Coach. Thank you.